be the reason someone smiles today namaskar welcome to next is i hope you are doing well in this video we will cover major headlines of the hindu indian express and press information bureau so without wasting any time let's start today's discussion now recently indian space research organization announced that upper stage of the pslv c37 rocket re-entered earth's atmosphere this mission was launched in february 2017 and it set a record by deploying 100 food satellites including carto set 2d as the primary payload this entry complied with the international debris mitigation guidelines specifically the interagency space debris coordination committee recommendation to limit the orbital life of defunct objects to 25 years in low earth orbit isro is now working to reduce the residual orbital lifetime of pslv upper stages to 5 years or less by deorbiting them and future missions will also focus on control reentry of upper stages to further space sustainability aiming for a debris free space mission by 2030 now 2024 nobel prize in physics was awarded to John Hoffield and Geoffrey Hinton for their groundbreaking work on machine learning and artificial neural networks. Hoffield is a professor at Princeton and he developed the Hoffield network which is a type of recurrent neural network that processes information based on Habibian learning which strengthens connection between neurons. His work connected the behavior of neural networks to the physics of magnetic atoms providing foundational insights into how neurons perform computational tasks and Geoffrey Hinton further advanced this field by adapting the Boltzmann machine to cognitive task he developed a learning algorithm for restricted Boltzmann machines creating one of the first deep learning networks these networks have since revolutionized fields ranging from medicine to finance and their contributions have enabled many practical applications of machine learning and artificial neural networks which are now familiar to the public through technologies like chat ai apps including open ai's chat gpt now india's textile and apparel industry aims to achieve 350 billion dollar in annual business by 2030 generating 3.5 crore jobs now india ranked third in global textile exports in financial year 2022 contributing to 2.3% to gdp and employing 105 million people but despite these trends the sector experienced a downturn in financial year 23 and 24 due to declining exports and domestic demand particularly impacting manufacturing hubs like tamil nadu the key reasons for slump in exports include geopolitical issues rising raw material cost and high cotton import duties making indian products less competitive globally the imp- position of a 10% import duty on cotton further inflated cost while quality control measures affected the availability of man-made fibers industry leaders have called for policy reforms to ensure competitively priced raw materials and longer term support for domestic production the sector is also adapting to shift in consumer behavior with increasing emphasis on e-commerce sustainability standards and growing demand for comfort wear and to meet its ambitious targets the industry seeks a 100 billion dollar investment by 2030 alongside technology adoption and workforce scaling to improve productivity now recently global digital compact was adopted it was established during the united nations summit of future it is an international diplomatic framework aimed at harnessing and regulating digital technologies for the global common good but it is designed as a set of shared goals for governments institutions businesses and other stakeholders over time these goals may influence national laws and regulations it addresses challenges and opportunities presented by digital technologies particularly their role in achieving sustainable development goals it also seeks global cooperation on data governance and aim to close the digital divide ensure responsible data use and promote equitable access to digital technologies now world health organization has recognized that india has successfully eliminated trichoma which is a bacterial infection that affects eyes it is caused by the bacterium chlamydia trichomatis it is contagious spreading through contact with the eyes eyelids nose or throat secretions of infected people world health organization has termed trichoma as neglected tropical disease trichoma is found in underprivileged communities living in poor environmental conditions and in this context government of india launched the national trichoma control program in 1963 and later on trichoma control efforts were integrated into india's national program for control of blindness now india has pledged over 300 million dollar for who's core program from 2025 to 2028 and a significant portion of this funding will be allocated to establishing a center of excellence for traditional medicine and do you know friends now india is the sixth largest contributor to the world health organization and recent commitment position india as a leading financial supporter in southeast asia with additional pledges anticipated from indonesia and bhutan now major atmospheric cherenkov experiment observatory was inaugurated in ladakh it is the largest imaging cherenkov telescope in asia and highest in the world situated at an altitude of approximately 4300 meters it was indigenously developed by bach and it is expected to foster international collaborations and strengthen india's position in multi messenger astronomy further establishing the country on global scientific stage next and last article talk 
talks about Atal Pension Yojana, which has achieved a significant milestone with total gross enrollments surpassing 7 crore. It was launched in May 2015 and it aims to create a universal social security system, particularly benefiting the poor, underprivileged and unorganized sector workers. It is administered by Pension Fund Regulatory and Development Authority under the overall administrative and institutional architecture of the national pension system. It is open to all bank account holders in the age group of 18 to 40 years who are not income taxpayers and the contribution differ based on the pension amount chosen. So with this, let's conclude today's discussion. Thanks for listening and for regular updates, you can follow us on various social media platforms. Thank <laughs> you.